Hello everyone and welcome back to another A Masi Chess Game by The Man, The Myth, The Legend by Bobby Fischer. And in this chess game Bobby Fischer has the white pieces and his opponent is Ramon Lontok, a chess player from Philippines and this chess game happened in 1967. Some say this chess game happened in Manila. Okay, so let's see what happened. Bobby Fischer's opponent is a chess player from Philippines. And this is also one of the notable chess games of Bobby Fischer. He starts the game with pushing the e4, e, e pawn, e4, c5, the Sicilian defense, knight to f3, d6, d4, charging the center. The open Sicilian, knight to f6, developing the knight, a6, bishop to c4 e6, bishop back, bishop to e7. Bobby Fischer pushed to f pawn and then black is developing the knight. Normal developing moves and black is pushing to h pawn, black is overconfident against Bobby Fischer. h5, bishop to e3, queen to c7 and Bobby Fischer castled from the queen side. Knight to c5 and then f5 by Bobby Fischer, e5. Knight back and then simply capturing the bishop, capturing towards the center, b5 and black is charging. It looks dangerous for white. And we have bishop to g5, bishop to b7 and then Bobby Fischer captured the knight. And after bishop takes on f6, Bobby Fischer is giving up the bishop but now he has a very strong uh, he has a very strong spot for the knight, knight to d5, so this is forking the queen and the bishop. So bishop takes on d5, rook takes on d5, and then centralizing the rook and targeting the king, so threatening checkmate against Bobby Fischer. Queen to d3 and Fischer is easily defending. King to e7, so defending the d-pawn, king to b1 unpinning the pawn and h4 by black. Black is keep advancing from the king side. Fisher played rook to d1 and now triple attack on the d pawn. Black is defending for two times so defending for three times. Okay so Fisher played c3 extra defense on c2. Queen to b6 and then b4, and even though it looks like Bobby Fischer has a doubled pawn structure in the queen side, we can say that it is not that easy to break through and attack Fischer, because if you push the pawn, you can simply take the pawn with the rook. So this is not so easy for black. Attacking Fischer is not that easy. Ooh, rook down, and then we have knight to g4, he wants to relocate the knight. And then bishop to g5 and simply knight to f3, defending the bishop. Well, in this position, actually, if you do something like bishop to f4, we have knight takes on h4. And if something like bishop back, then g3, exchanging what else? Let's say rook to h8, g4, rook to h3. Queen to e2 and sooner or later white can push to g-pawn and this is looking very good for white. So we have f6 and here comes g3. h takes on g3 and Bobby Fischer simply captured the bishop, he is not in a hurry and then he captured the pawn. Also attacking the g-pawn. King to d7. Well, you might ask what happens if king to f6, then rook to g1, and black is looking like very silly, attacking the pawn and there is no good defense. So it looks like the position is collapsing for black. Uh, this position looks like it is collapsing for black, one by one. So escaping because Fisher is threatening to take the pawn with check, but this time Fisher has a better idea. He captured the pawn, he captured the e-pawn with the queen, because the d-pawn is pinned. 
So king to c7 and then capturing the pawn with check. Ooh. Rook to d7 and Bobby Fischer captured on g5. This is savage. This is brutal. Well, in this position, white has three extra pawns. Also, white has two pass pawns. And this e pawn can also march. e5 is mega strong. And this is a losing position for black. This is why Ramon Lontok resigned against Bobby Fischer. So, this was a pretty nice, flawless victory for Bobby Fischer. And... What do you think about this chess game? I hope you have enjoyed watching this chess game. So in this position, Black resigned. And I hope to see you next time with more interactive, beautiful chess games from the history of chess. So take care and bye bye.